Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Tutorial Tuesday. It is week 30, 2019. I'm glad that you're along with us. Just a couple updates today and then we'll get right into your questions. Update number one on my workshop. Uh, June 2020, down in Torrey, Utah, with Canon Explorer of Light, Bruce Dorn. Uh, we only have two spots left, so if you want to get in on that workshop, I'd suggest you go ahead and swipe over and sign up for that right now. Take a look at that. The second update, I've been working with Eli from Birchwood Customs. He's a custom framer here in Utah, and I want to share with you some of the images and some of the uh, frames that he custom made for my images. Um, the first one is an 8x10. This is in a cherry wood. This is from branding this spring. I got the prints uh, from a printer that I always use in Minnesota, White House Custom Color. Uh, that's the first 8x10. The second is this one right here. This is a pine that's been distressed. Uh, Eli did a phenomenal job on that. I'll kind of get an up close for you there. You can see that. And then a 16 by 24 in walnut. And I'll kind of back up and fill the frame here. Uh, this is a picture of my friend Alex, who's a farrier, pulling a horseshoe out of the forge and lighting a cigarette with it. And we can get closer there. You can see how Eli has added those nails uh, to add to the overall cohesiveness of the image. And then the final one, is this big 24 by 36 of my wife Joe and Eli made this in a pine and also hand distressed it so could not be any happier if you guys want some uh, custom framing go check out Eli at Birchwood Customs let's get right into your questions uh, Jackson Hole was a blast. Unfortunately, we didn't have a lot of time for sightseeing. Um, Chris really kept us on a really tight schedule. Now, we were up at the Million Dollar Cowboy Bar for Chris's Cowboy Coming Home album release. So, uh, check that out. Salute to you, my friend. If I had a drink in my hand, I'd be bringing that up too. So, thank you. Great question here, Jordan. What I would recommend is absolutely upgrading to the mirrorless, um, but I would recommend waiting at least for another year. Uh, I will definitely be upgrading to a mirrorless when uh, my 5D Mark III is past its useful. Like I said, I will definitely be upgrading to a mirrorless body. It'll be in the Canon family uh, when the useful life of my 5D Mark III is over. Um, Canon is rumored to have Canon is rumored to have the equivalent mirrorless body of a 1DX on the horizon and um, a lot of people are anticipating that before the Summer Olympics so watch for that as well. Uh, that's a really good question Kane. I use textures uh, sparingly. While I have a folder of I don't know probably a hundred different textures um, it comes down to an artistic decision based on the mood that I'm in really. For me personally, I like to use textures when I have, um, oh, I would say at least a third to a half negative space within my image to add additional visual interest um, to that particular image. In addition to that, I also like I also like to look for textures that have maybe some sun flare to them or have some type of light flare to them. Um, that also adds additional visual interest in your images, especially when you have a, a very strong directional light. So just to recap, I like to use textures when I have a third to half uh, negative space within my image. And in fact, I'm gonna post a picture of my friend Chris um, from the workshop just this last June out at the DX Ranch, and I'll show you how I use textures. Now in that picture of Chris that I did out at uh, the DX Ranch at my workshop, um, <clears throat> I wanted to add some additional interest in that image. So I took a picture of the side of a horse trailer and then put that texture in there. I will be leaving for Torrey, Utah tomorrow morning, probably around nine or 10. So down there mid morning, uh, scouting for some video work that we're gonna be doing with Paisley. So if you're down there, give me a wave.